Hello friends, this video on atom and molecules part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So till now we have seen the molecular mass of atoms. For example, we know the molecular mass of hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, these things we know. Right, these are all units. But most of the things around us is compound, for example, water carbon dioxide, sulfuric acid, ammonia gas, methane gas, all these are compounds and we want to find the mass, molecular mass of compounds. So let's try to find water, water has one hydrogen, sorry two hydrogen and one oxygen. What is the molecular mass of one hydrogen? One unit. What is the molecular mass of one oxygen? 16 units. So total you will see 2 plus 16 is 18 units. It's pretty easy right? So with this you can find the molecular mass of water. Just now we have studied. See we know the molecular mass of all these atoms. We know the the we know that with the formula, chemical formula, you can actually the chemical formula actually tells the constituents of this particular molecule, the number of atoms it has. So if I know the mass of hydrogen, mass of oxygen, I can actually find the mass of whole water. See, it is just like that. If I know mass or weight of all the students in the class, let's suppose there are five students in the class. Student A, B, C, D. Student A is a girl with 30 kg weight. B is again a girl with 35 kg weight. C is a boy with 40 kg weight. D is a little fat boy with 45 kg weight. And E is very fat guy with 50 kg weight. Let's say. Small class, maybe fifth or sixth. I want to find the total weight of the class. I have to just sum these. That's all. You add all these. 90 plus 35, 135, 170, 200. So 200 is the total weight of the class. Similarly, if I know the weight of all these atoms, I can easily find the weight of this whole molecule because we know that one molecule is composed of these many atoms. Let's take some more examples. Let's take nitric acid. I want to find the weight of nitric acid. So nitric acid has one hydrogen plus one nitrogen plus 3 oxygen. So let's add this. 1 hydrogen is 1, 1 nitrogen is 14, 3 oxygen is 16 into 3, 3 into 16. So how much you get? 63 unit. Okay. Pretty easy. So let's take some more examples. In fact, this is what we have done now. The relative uh, molecular mass of water and nitric acid we just found. For water, it was one hydrogen, two hydrogen, so two into one plus one oxygen, one into 16, 18 units. And for nitric acid, we just found one hydrogen. 1 nitrogen, 3 oxygen. So 1 hydrogen is what? 1 into 1. 1 nitrogen is what? 1 into 14. Oxygen is 16. You add it 48 plus 14 plus 3, 63. Okay. So that let's talk about a term called formula unit mass, same as the molecular mass for a compound, just a new name given. Formula unit mass of a substance is nothing but the sum of atomic mass of all the atoms in the formula. For example, I have the formula of H2O. This formula, whatever atoms you have, you add all the atomic mass, that becomes the formula unit mass. Okay. Typically, formula unit mass, this term is used for any compounds. For example, you have it, suppose 
PO4 3 minus. Want to find the mass of this. Okay. Or let's suppose, sorry, NaCl. Yeah, NaCl is highly compound. Sorry. I want to find the formula unit mass. So that is 1 sodium plus 1 chlorine. 1 sodium is what? 23. 1 chlorine is what? 35.5. You add it, 58.5. Okay, so it's just a new term. Thus, now we found that the value of formula unit mass for NaCl 23, and this is 35.5. Add this 58.5 unit. Let's find for calcium chloride CaCl2. This is also ionic, so we'll use the term formula mass for this as well. So it has one calcium plus 2 chlorine. This 40 plus 2 into 35.5. That is 40 plus 71. That is 111 unit. Okay. Let's take some questions. We have to find the molecular mass of these compounds. They are all compounds. Hydrogen, 2 hydrogen, 2 into 1, 2 unit. Let's do some here only. Oxygen, 2 oxygen, 2 into 16, 32 units. Chlorine, 2 chlorine atoms, 2 into 35.5, that is 71 units. units. You can just use this letter or you can write it. Then we have CO2. 1 carbon plus 2 oxygen. Carbon is what? How much? 12 units. 2 oxygen is how many units? 16 units. Solve it 32 plus 12, 44 units. Methane, CH4, 1 carbon plus 4 hydrogen. 1 carbon is what? 1 into 12. 4 hydrogen is what? 4 into 1. 1 hydrogen each is 1 unit. We solve this 12 plus 4, 16 unit. Done. C2H6. 2 carbon plus 6 hydrogen. 2 into 1 carbon each is 12 unit. 6 into 1. And you solve this, you get 24 plus 6, 30 unit. Okay. C2H4, 2 carbon plus 4 hydrogen. Solve this 2 into 12 plus 4 into 1, 28 units. NH3, nitrogen is 14, hydrogen 3, hydrogen 3, 14 plus 3 is 17 units. Similarly, CH3OH last one has one carbon four hydrogen and one oxygen so let's put the value one carbon is 12 four hydrogen is four into one four one oxygen is 16 16 plus 4 20 plus 30 32 unit so you can easily find the molecular mass of all these compounds let's take one more numerical we have to find the Formula unit mass for ZnO, Na2O, K2CO3. See, formula unit mass is used because it's all ionic compounds. It's also given the atomic mass of zinc, sodium, potassium, carbon, and oxygen. Pretty easy then, right? So let's find ZnO first. It has one zinc, one oxygen. One zinc is how much? 65. Plus one oxygen, how much? 16. Add this, you get 81 unit. Let's take second, Na2O. Two sodium, one oxygen. Sodium is how much? How many? 23. So 2 into 23 because there are two sodium units. 
plus 1 into oxygen, oxygen is 16 unit. So you solve this 46 plus 16, 62 units. K2CO3, K2CO3, 2 potassium, 1 carbon, 3 oxygen, right? 2 potassium, 1 carbon, 3 oxygen. Let's put the values. 2 into potassium is 39 plus 1 into carbon is 12 plus 3 into oxygen, oxygen is 16. Solve this 48 plus 12, 60 plus 78, 138 unit, and that is the answer. Pretty easy, okay? So, having understood the molecular mass, let's understand the whole concept. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.